Xbox Game Pass, what it is and why you might like it coming up on Split Second Tech. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So this video is actually kind of prompted by one of the other videos that I created that was indicating or how to update uh, the Windows Update 1903. I had a lot of comments saying that this was required for the Xbox Game Pass and I thought to myself, what the heck is the Xbox Game Pass? So I set out and did an adventure and found out exactly what it is and we're gonna take a look at that today. So let's get started. For those that don't understand or are also just finding out about this, it's very similar to what Discord and Origin have with their EA Access or their Discord Nitro. You basically pay X amount into a subscription-based program that allows you to access a library of games that you can either play on your Xbox or PC. When it comes to each game, we can go into the library and we can see which title has access to either platform indicated by a little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the game. Another feature I thought that was pretty cool and unlike some of the other game subscription programs is when a new game is released, you have to usually wait X amount of days for you to be able to play that game. But with the Xbox Game Pass, you have a new game released, you'll gain access the same day as everybody else. With that being said, I'm normally not a subscription kind of guy when it comes to these types of games. However, this does have a bonus allowing you to play those games on either Xbox or PC. So I'm really curious to see how well this is going to do. You can also get the first month for a buck. So at the very least, it may be something worth trying out. Now, 15 bucks a month after that, but it also includes your Xbox Live Gold. For those of you that are already paying for Xbox Live Gold, it's like an extra five bucks on top of what you're already paying for. So that's kind of a nice little wrapped in bonus as well. In conclusion, if you're the person that likes to go out and play a bunch of different games on both of these platforms, then this service might benefit you. But if you're the type of person that likes to just play one game and play it through, then of course, just buying the game outright is going to be your best bet. And that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other game subscription services do you prefer? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you liked the video and enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of thing tech related from how to's and tutorials all the way over to tech news. And of course, subscribe if you you aren't already and be sure to enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one.